Welcome back to today's video. We'll be review the 2022 romantic mystery movie, Deep Water. Get ready to remember all the mysterious parts and romantic moments of this unforgettable movie. The movie starts with Vic, a man who rides his bicycle and then comes home. Right outside the house, his wife named Melinda is sitting and looking at him with amazement. In a subsequent scene, we discover that the couple has a young daughter. The girl enjoys her cherished song, but her mother interrupts, scolding her in frustration. The man enters the room, where his wife requests his help in selecting a dress. Later, she asks him to fetch her black shoes, and he willingly obliges. It becomes evident that this man dutifully follows his wife's instructions without hesitation. After they go to a party. At a party, Vic and his wife mingle with friends, enjoying conversations and sharing a few beers. Melinda spots her friend Joe and begins to interact with him, an action observed by Vic. Without much delay, Melinda leads Joe to a more private area, where they engage in a passionate kiss. Vic is fully aware of the situation unfolding before him. Despite making eye contact, Melinda continues to revel in her fantasies undeterred. Not content with that, she climbs atop a piano, captivating everyone's attention with a lively dance. Following this spectacle, she proceeds to play the piano, bringing joy to the gathered crowd. Unfazed by his wife's peculiar behavior, Vic maintains a smile, seemingly unaffected by the events that have transpired. During the same evening, Joe approaches Vic to express his gratitude for allowing him to spend time with Melinda. Vic, in response, reminds Joe of a certain individual named Martin McRae who recently went missing. Vic hints that he might be responsible for Martin's disappearance. Joe initially takes it as a joke, but Vic sternly assures him of the truth if he continues to make similar mistakes. Joe promptly departs from the location. Meanwhile, Vic's wife is displeased by Vic's behavior towards her friend. During the evening, as Vic converses with the babysitter, Melinda unexpectedly enters the kitchen without a shirt on. Vic expresses his disapproval and attempts to send her away, which visibly frustrates Melinda, leading her to leave. This incident highlights Melinda's carelessness and self-centered nature. A few days later, Vic reunites with his friends, and during their gathering, he discovers that everyone is aware of how he confronted Joe with the Martin McRae joke. They further elucidate that Melinda's actions, performed openly in Vic's presence, indicate her disturbed state of mind. Upon returning home, Melinda becomes aware of the situation and insists that Vic apologize to Joe. In response, she extends an invitation to Joe for a dinner gathering on Friday. On Friday, Joe arrives and knocks on the door, where Vic warmly welcomes him. Joe appears nervous and inquires about Melinda's presence, prompting Vic to jest once again that she is not home. Eventually, Vic reveals their plans for the evening, which involve enjoying some seafood and engaging in conversation. However, an unexpected revelation occurs. Joe discloses that he is allergic to seafood. Astonishingly, Melinda was fully aware of this fact, but neglected to inform Vic. As they sit around the table, Vic takes it upon himself to prepare a grilled cheese sandwich for Joe, while Melinda seemingly exacerbates the situation, provoking her husband. Vic is then summoned by Melinda to attend to their daughter, putting her to bed and recounting bedtime stories. However, upon returning, Vic stumbles upon Melinda and Joe engaged in a compromising situation. Subsequently, Joe anticipates an apology from Vic for the earlier jest about Martin McRae's demise. Vic sternly responds, affirming that it was not a joke and promptly arranges an Uber for Joe. One day, at a party, Vic and Melinda engage in conversation with a writer. The writer playfully labels Vic as a killer and jokes about Martin McRae. Vic, in a light-hearted manner, dances with another woman, which triggers jealousy in Melinda. Subsequently, Melinda compares herself to the other women present. Additionally, she attempts to engage in intimate activities with Vic while he is driving. 
Later, as Vic and Melinda observe their daughter playing, Vic receives an unexpected call from the bank regarding Melinda's bank account. It turns out that she has sent $3,000 to an individual who is known for playing the piano. Intrigued, Vic begins to investigate this person further, only to discover that they are not only a skilled pianist, but also remarkably attractive. To his surprise, Vic witnesses Melinda flirting with this individual. When night falls, Vic warmly welcomes Melinda but notices that she appears quite intoxicated. While driving his daughter home, Vic unexpectedly comes across the pianist carrying flowers. Later that day, those very flowers find their place in their home. This encounter sparks Vic's concern once again, as he suspects his wife, Melinda, of having an affair behind his back. Despite Vic spending most of his time at home, Melinda appears to be engrossed in a passionate relationship with the pianist, completely disregarding Vic's feelings. Vic confronts her about her actions, expressing his frustration over her absence throughout the night and her misuse of their shared finances to deceive him. Melinda, displaying a lack of empathy, brazenly admits to enjoying intimate moments with the pianist, further highlighting her self-centeredness. In the following week, Melinda extends an invitation to the pianist for their party. Vic and the pianist even exchange handshakes. Once again, Vic catches sight of his wife engaging in an intimate encounter with the pianist. Melinda's carelessness reaches a point where she is unfazed by displaying such behavior in front of her husband. Suddenly, rain starts to pour, and the attendees move indoors to continue enjoying the party. However, the pianist is nowhere to be found, prompting Melinda to search for him. To her horror, she discovers him lifeless in the pool and lets out a scream. Witnessing this distressing scene, everyone rushes outside in an attempt to rescue and revive him, but sadly, their efforts prove futile. As the police begin their investigation, Melinda points the finger at her husband, Vic, accusing him of the murder. The officers question Vic, but their conversation reveals nothing suspicious. Later, Vic confronts Melinda, inquiring if she is afraid of him. Surprisingly, she responds that she is not scared because he took their life away because of her. Later that day while he riding his bicycle, Vic's mind drifts, conjuring vivid images of Melinda with another man and flashes of that man taking his own life. Later, Vic and Melinda invite their friends over for dinner. Vic, feeling uneasy, asks his friend to refrain from spreading the rumor that he is a killer. He remains suspicious, leading to intermittent discussions with Melinda about this matter. While walking one day, Vic stumbles upon a collection of cameras inside his wife's car. To his surprise, he finds Melinda sitting with a man who claims to be a psychologist. Eventually, the man discloses to the wife of Vic's friend that both he and Melinda hired a private detective to investigate Vic. This revelation sparks a heated argument between the couple, resulting in shouting and raised voices. Later, Vic becomes aware that Melinda is involved with yet another man. One day, Melinda's aforementioned friend Tony meets Vic at their house. Upon Melinda's arrival, she warmly embraces Tony, as if he were her husband. In their conversation, Melinda discloses to Vic that Tony was the first American she slept with, leading Tony to chuckle and blush in response. Observing all this, Vic appears visibly upset. As the evening progresses, they enjoy a meal accompanied by good music. However, Melinda and Tony engage in inappropriate dancing in front of Vic. Later, Vic witnesses them heading upstairs to his bedroom, where he catches a glimpse of their intimate activities and locks eyes with Melinda. In the following days, Vic arranges a meeting between Tony and Melinda, making him sit inside his jeep. Vic then drives Tony to a remote location far away from the city. Throughout the journey, Vic interrogates Tony about his relationship with Melinda and their dating history. Once they are out of the car, Vic grabs a hefty rock and hurls it at Tony. It doesn't take long for Vic to end Tony's life. Immediately afterward, 
he places a heavy rock on Tony's body and submerges him in the water, ensuring that the evidence is concealed from prying eyes. After the incident, Vic returns home with a sense of contentment. The following day, they make plans for a picnic at the very location where he ended Tony's life. However, during their outing, Vic accidentally discovers that Tony's lifeless body is floating on the surface of the river. During the evening, Vic learns that Melinda is engaging in conversations with another man named Don. Later that night, she invites Vic to sleep in her room and confesses her love for him. The following day, Vic returns to the same location in an attempt to rectify his mistake. Meanwhile, Melinda discovers Tony's wallet inside Vic's workplace, raising suspicions. As Vic tries to submerge Tony's body into the water, they friend, the writer, unexpectedly arrives and questions Vic about his actions. Suddenly, a hand emerges from the river, catching their attention. Frightened by what they witness, the old man flees, with Vic pursuing him on his bicycle. The chase persists for several intense moments until the old man meets with an unfortunate accident. Vic returns home, and we are presented with the same scene we witnessed at the beginning of the movie. Additionally, we observe Melinda placing Tony's identification inside the fire, keeping it hidden from the police. The movie ends at this point. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos like this one. We'll see you in our next video.